Hi, I'm Joseph Vass with Dawn Equipment, and I'm going to give you an overview of some of the design features of the Model 6000 Universal Fertilizer Applicator. It's a high-speed device capable of running as high as 12 miles an hour. It's a low horsepower device, typically between 10 and 15 horsepower per opener, and it runs between 2, 4, and 6 and a half inches deep, so it does uh, run fairly deep. It's typically mounted to a 7x7 frame tube. You have a large parallel linkage supporting the whole unit. Uh, the parallel linkage alone is about 200 pounds. Uh, it has all synthetic bushings, so there's no metal on metal contact anywhere on this product to wear out. It has 16 inches of vertical motion, so you have a huge amount of blade travel, uh, able to run on a large toolbar, it's able to uh, handle terraces and other uh, situations where you need a lot of articulation out of the unit. You've got pneumatic down pressure on the main opener blade, uh, capable of generating as much as 500 pounds of pressure on the blade. The unit is designed in a way that concentrates the structural mass over the top of the blade so it can use its own weight, which is about 500 pounds, in order to deliver the rest of the down pressure. The net result is that you never have to weigh the frame and that allows you to attach it to a wide variety of commonly available pull type and mounted frames that are already on the market. The heart of the unit is the unique rudder type blade arrangement, uh, knife arrangement. So the blade runs at an angle, okay? Four degrees is typical with anhydrous. Over years and years of service, if the bushings and the linkages wear, you can actually increase the blade angle in one degree increments from four, five, six, or seven degrees. So you can control how big of a furrow it makes in the ground. The knife is a free floating device. So it's, it can pivot side to side. So it centers itself on the furrow and it's always running at the deepest point of the furrow so that when we discharge the anhydrous out of the bottom of this knife, we're, get, we're getting it to seal against the soil as liquid because it's being discharged very close to the soil as liquid. This unit is also spring-loaded, so it can trip over the top of rocks because it's outside of the circumference of the blade. The unique plastic insulating diffuser allows you to run very late in the fall because it uh, thermally insulates the discharge of the anhydrous from the rest of the metal components. It also allows you to run ammonia with another liquid product in a sort of TAPS system. And you'll notice there, it also has a molded feature that forms a seal against the furrow and any vapor escaping is corralled around the outside of the knife and back under the furrow. So the reason for this knife as opposed to some of the other uh, more common designs in the market is uh, really twofold. First of all, what it does is it allows us to move the discharge point of the anhydrous further back so that we're really we're releasing the anhydrous underneath where the soil has already been closed by the closing wheels. The, the gas doesn't come out of the knife until you've already got the furrow sealed on top of it. And what this lets us do is to seal pretty unprecedented uh, levels of anhydrous for a unit of this type. I mean, you could get uh, well over 200. We've even seen as high as 250 actual pounds of N uh, in conventional tiller side of situations. Which leads to another point. Um, the ability to adapt between different tillage conditions. This knife moves back away from the blade, so you don't have any tight points of contact between the knife and the blade. Residue is free to pass in between the knife. Notice it has this clearance right here. So in heavy wheat straw and heavy corn stalks, it can pass through and keep itself clean. You can pass a corn stalk around this knife. There's no tight clearance, there's no tight adjustment. You're not trying to maintain a uh, a close fit between the knife and the blade. The granular fertilizer situation is pretty unique and it's one of the many patented features on this unit. So you have a large hose coming in uh, to the diffuser. Uh, this diffuser is actually a Montag component which is a common granular popper used with this unit. Down to an inch and a quarter or inch and a half hose. And notice we're discharging the granular fertilizer ahead of the ammonia. Now what that does is it keeps it out of the way so residue can move through, but it lets the dry fertilizer get to the bottom of the furrow without impacting the sealing performance of the knife. The whole name of the game with devices like this is immediately closing the furrow after the knife moves through.
So uh, the parallel linkage mounting closing system, coupled with this free floating knife, lets us effectively have zero gap in between where we're closing the furrow and uh, where the trailing edge of this knife is. And you can't see it here, but there's even a streamlined shape on the back of this plastic wear component that allows the soil to just flow right around it. You know, for, for custom applicators, other people that need a high performance fertilizer injector like this, one of their real concerns is uh, the wear components, the service life of the wear components, and the cost of the wear components. So the knife, which by the way runs against an adjustable stop right here, so it's not running continuously under pressure against, against the soil, is induction hardened on the leading edge to a, a about 70 Rockwell. And this is a replacement pot, uh, component, which is about $18. You should get about uh, 300 acres per opener out of it. The plastic component it has a replacement cost of only $5 and you should get in the 150 acre per, op per opener area out of those. The whole knife assembly is made to be quick changed. Another really important feature in this closing system is this equalizer mechanism. So the front closing wheel does the vast majority of the work with one of these systems. The back closing wheel kind of the front closing wheel aggressively chews in the sidewalk, gets soil on top of the knife. The back closing wheel smooths it all and just positively seals it. In conventional tillage, side dressing, conventionally tilled corn, you might need very, very little weight on this front closing wheel to, to close it. No tilling into heavy clay soil, you might need a ton of weight on this front closing wheel to aggressively close down the furrow. This mechanism allows you to transfer weight on and off of the front closing wheel in order to easily accommodate different tillage situations. Notice also that these closing wheels have this simple detent mechanism that allows you to change the angle of attack that the closing wheel um, intersects the ground at. Notice in terms of lubrication points, uh, most of these grease points are not actually daily grease points. You have two daily grease points right here and right here. You have two weekly grease points right here and right here, and the rest of them are annually. The bushings and the linkages are actually not, technically don't need grease, but you use the lubrication more to clean them rather than to lubricate them. Okay, now we're gonna look at the other side of the unit. Okay, so on the other side of the unit, you can see a little bit more of the detail of the parallel linkage on the closing system. You can see that we also have a pneumatic system controlling the down pressure on the closing wheels. You have a pneumatic system controlling the down pressure on the optional road cleaner. So you could have three independent pneumatic control systems on the toolbar, each with its own pressure regulator allowing you to control them all separately from the other. The gauge wheel is five and a half inches wide, which gives you the width and the surface area you need to support the unit in conventional tillage so it doesn't bury itself. It's a 20 inch blade, so the ratio of the blade diameter to the size of the tire on our unit is a little bit uh, lower than on some of the other products, which allows us to run with less down pressure, it allows us to run in conventional tillage better, it also allows it uh, to float much better on the air. The parallel linkage closing system, when a parallel linkage moves up and down, it doesn't move forwards and backwards in the direction of motion nearly as much as if we had just a single pivot, where over the large range of motion that we have on this unit, you would see a lot of forward and backwards movement, which would have the effect of moving the positioning of where we close this furrow forwards and backwards relative to the knife, which we absolutely can't have. We're controlling the positioning and the closing of the furrow with extremely precise uh, machined accuracy. Notice how it's all machined components. There's not even any welded components here. Again, a key feature in terms of the usability and the serviceability of the unit, you'll notice that there's a lockup mechanism on the closing wheels. So if you need to service the knife assembly, you can quickly, the operator can come out, lift up the closing wheels, pull this pin, slide it over into the lock, and then you can just with one tool come and quick change the knife. The knife uses uh, braided stainless steel hoses 
true hydraulic hoses that have a Teflon inside the, their hydraulic quality. So the Teflon on the inside liner of the hose also insulates the ammonia from freezing. It's routed, the hoses are routed up through the structure of the unit. You'll see that the hoses exit out the top of the main casting and have a nice clean installation up here to the front bulkhead. So you just attach your standard anhydrous equipment right there. The rope cleaner assembly, this is probably the most effective rope cleaner assembly on the market right now. You, have, you can mount it in either a push configuration or a trail configuration. It's fully modular. You can remove the rope cleaner and use it on another device if you want, or use it uh, with other tools instead of the rope cleaner. You can lock it up out of the way, it has its own lockup mechanism, and it uses the, one of the smallest air springs available on the market. I should also mention that all of these control arms on these linkages are forgings. These are not castings. These are extremely high tensile steel, extremely rugged units using the best bushings on the market, which are the uh, Teflon or the, the filament wound glacier garlic bushings. The row cleaner is optional. Most people buying this unit for side dress would not specify it. However, it opens up possibilities in strip till. People that want to bridge the gap between no-till and strip-till, do some precision fertilizer application, clear residue out of the way, but not do as much soil disturbance. So with strip-till, where you're really doing lots of tillage, you pretty much have to have the soil fit to run, where it's dry enough, where you can run a, a tillage device through it and get a good result without making a bunch of plots. The Model 6000 device, because it's a low so soil disturbance opener, opens up a much wider window of operation in many seasons. You can run it later in the fall because you have the insulated knife arrangement. Uh, you know, I've run the unit in the teens in Fahrenheit degrees, well below freezing. You can run it earlier in the spring because it tolerates uh, wet conditions. Notice that this entire lower assembly is machined in one single setup. And what that allows us to do is to have a one degree angle between the tire and the blade, which ensures that we get extremely effective wiping action between the lip of the gauge wheel and the blade itself. So it cleans itself in wet conditions. There's lots of room for mud to move through if you're running really early in the spring. In, in side dress conditions, compared to a knife, you are going to get much earlier windows of operation. You can start earlier, you're not doing anywhere near the kind of soil disturbance you're gonna be doing with a typical knife applicator. You can be running at double the speed. You can be running at higher rates and you can be putting on granular products at the same time if you want to, but effectively it would let you start side dressing before the crop has even emerged. Our vision for the future is that precision fertilizer application is going to be the most important topic in agriculture in the next five to 10 years, how to use your resources more effectively regardless of your tillage conditions, how to use your nitrogen smarter, how to use your phosphate smarter, how to get more bang for the buck out of your fertilizer. And the Model 6000 is a device which gives you a whole range of possibilities to place your fertilizer, not only accurately side to side, accurately in depth, in a wide variety of residue. If you want to side dress in a no-till or strip-till situation where you have a heavy amount of corn stalks in between the row, you can run right over the top of an existing corn row. So your fertilization is working with your chosen tillage system rather than your tillage system working around your ability to apply the fertilizer. The unit can apply granular liquid and ammonia so that you can choose the fertilizer that you're applying based on what is most uh, lowest cost, most uh, fits into your system, and what your crop needs at that time rather than what your equipment is capable of applying. And I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching this video and feel free to call us, visit us on Twitter, or see us online. Thank you.